Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to perform code coverage testing. Well, much like the tool that we have used for unit testing, the tool we use for code coverage depends upon the programming language and the application framework. Let's say when you are targeting a .NET core applications to run on Linux, we use Coverlet. It's a popular option. Coverlet is a cross-platform code coverage library for .NET Core. And that's how you proceed with the, these things. So the code coverage testing that we add is to make sure that what part of the code uh, the testing has been completed and what part is left. And we can add the code coverage that will tell us the percentage of the code that has a unit test. We can use the tool called Coverlet to collect coverage information. So we will first of all run the code coverage locally. I will pull up my Visual Studio code in here. This is my terminal in which I'm making the changes under the bash terminal. So now uh, using the same component, the same project, I will run the following uh, .NET tool install command to install the report generator. It would be .NET. dot install global dot net report generator minus global tool and will specify the version as one now after that we'll run the command dot net test command to run our unit test and collect code coverage it says report generator was successfully installed enter misspelled is zip run it like so the, the command that i ran now the difference is that if you would see the dash p here the p, p syntax it tells uh it tells the uh, this flag will tell the coverlet which code coverage format to use and where to place the result. Now we'll run the report generator command to convert the coverture of file to HTML. If you would see the file below, it's given me these uh, results. I'm going to again run the command to change it. There you go. It has converted that. Now the number of HTML files appear in the code coverage folder at the root of the project. So I will have to expand the code coverage folder. Right click the index.html file. So if you would code coverage, if you will see the file here. Here you go. Here you go. This is the file. If you would reveal it in Explorer. This is how the file looked when I clicked on Explorer and changed it. Now, if you will open it, it open it up in the web browser. It shows like this. There you go. Covered, uncovered, coverable, and uh, you will see the summary above. assemblies, classes, covered branches, total branches. So if you will come at the bottom and says coverage breakdown by the class type local document repository. If you will see this repo, class is this uncovered alias, covered, covered lines, Cover branches, the method. So if you would see the get item async method is uh, covered line coverage 100%. But the count item sync has 0 percentage coverage of this test. So if you click on here, this is the 
part where it has been covered 100%. Now let's let's create a branch in the Visual Studio code and uh, run the code coverage. So we'll create a code coverage branch and we'll proceed further. On the GitHub, I'm gonna write git checkout minus p. I'm gonna create a new branch which would be code coverage. So if you will see the branch, you are under code coverage. I'm adding a build task where I'm gonna make changes in the is your pipeline start of YML file? Let me just update it and come back to you. You see this part here? Code coverage tool and the report generator, unit test, everything I've added. So I'll save it. Come back to Visual Studio Code. Git add. Git commit with the message. You can type in any message that you want i'm adding add code coverage git push origin would be my code coverage branch if you will go to the azure pipeline this see this branch see the job here it is running that is how you add the thing when you can add a dashboard widget as well and you can remove the code coverage files as well So let it finish and I will make the changes to remove the code coverage files as well. And you can also add a dashboard widget as well. So if you would cover under the, you can go to the marketplace.visualstudio.com, come here. It is the Azure app service. So if you would come here you click on azure devops search for code coverage code coverage widgets get it free it will load up the organization select the organization if you have created multiple all set click on proceed to organization here here click on the project that you are in click on dashboards now you are on the dashboard you click on edit code coverage click on add click on done editing you would see the results here edit it you can change it you can delete it you can configure it Say it was to one. Save. There you go. And if you want to, then we'll look at it is finalizing the job. Perfect. Go to the Visual Studio Code again, and you can remove the code coverage files. To remove the code coverage files, you can just mention rm dash rf. code coverage it has been removed so that is how you do the code coverage in the azure pipeline in the next video we will see how to fix a failed test till next time have a good day bye bye